What's going on guys, Chad Christopher here. Welcome to another video. I just loaded up the truck right now. We are headed to the studio. We got a couple things to unbox, a couple things to set up, and we gotta clean that thing out because that table build, ooh, did a number on it. All right, well, we just made it in here to the studio. All right, here's how the studio is looking after that table build. Uh, yeah, pretty rough. I mean, we got stuff everywhere. We got cords everywhere. There's obviously sawdust everywhere. I filled up that shop vac more times than I can count. So we're gonna go ahead and get this place sorted up. And then, like I mentioned, we've got a couple things to unbox and uh, set up. So today is Saturday, the day after uh, Black Friday. So I did go and I, I picked up a couple new items, which I'm super stoked about. So I don't want to bring them into this absolute disaster, catastrophe of a, of a shop though. So let's get this place cleaned up, then uh, we'll open that up. And yeah, we've got a couple things to, to catch up on in this video. All right, we did a pretty good job getting all the sawdust up off the ground, getting things moved out of the way. I think this is our next culprit, man. This is all sort of the scrap wood and things we haven't used um, since we started this channel, this woodworking channel. So I think at the very least, I need to just like maybe put this horizontally over here. I've heard that leaving wood up like this can kind of can bow it and stuff. So I think maybe we'll clear out some of this, put it all horizontal back here. And then I think maybe we're gonna put this work table in the back half here for right now, and then we'll start bringing some stuff in. So we've also got a bunch of wood over there. Like, they're just like supplies piling up absolutely everywhere. So I don't think we're gonna get through it all today, but we're gonna do what we can. Yo, so check it out. We uh, cleaned this place up pretty good. We brought that back in here. Um, I mean, this is just obviously a temporary solution, but at least we got everything kind of down and in the corner out of the way. Got myself a little scrap box of smaller pieces that are still pretty usable. There's Kyle's stool that he built. Yeah, so as I mentioned, we've got some stuff to, uh, to unbox here. So it was Black Friday yesterday. You can kind of see it right there. Um, and I picked up a couple goodies. I've had my eye on a couple things. Number one is a table saw. So ever since I did that table build last time, I, I really needed a you know a table saw to to, to rip the, the like the table top boards so they'd sit up a little bit flusher to each other. So we ended up picking up this guy right here. So we went with rigid. I decided to keep it the same as my miter saw rigid right there. Um, I've been really happy with it. So this thing was normally like 400 I think and I got it on sale for 300 so 100 bucks off um, and I mean it was something that you know I needed anyways I had my eye on anyway so yeah I don't, I don't know that this is sort of the long-term table saw you know I've heard that uh, reliability is a little iffy with these sort of mobile ones uh, you know you kind of want like a real big cast iron solid contractor style one so I might end up getting one of those eventually down the road but for now man I'm pretty happy about this and I'm pretty excited to see what it's all about. But before we get into that, I also picked up this little kit at Lowe's. This was like normally 110 bucks or something. Had it on sale for 50 bucks for Black Friday. So as you can see, we've got a 30 piece router bit set. I'm picking up the, the Milwaukee router here pretty quick. Routers are something that I really, you know, I don't know much about. So I'm excited to learn more about them. I know they're incredibly, incredibly powerful. So yeah, you can see kind of all the different bits that we've got here, different options. And once again, I'm aware that these, these aren't, you know, super, super high end bits, but uh, you know, I, I need to, I, I'm excited about this kit because number one, I have like a big assortment. It comes in a nice case and stuff like that. Easy to kind of, you know, keep track of, but I get to test them all out. I get to see what bits I actually use, what ones I like, what ones I, you know, are just kind of there for filler in the kit and stuff like that. And then once I find the ones that I'm really using a lot, I can go out and spend 40 bucks on a single bit or something, you know, but for 50 bucks to have, what is it, 30, 30 bits or something like that, I'm pretty stoked on that. So let's get that unboxed really quick, see what comes in it. So 
that unbox was much quicker than I had expected. <laughs> but this is a sick little box that comes in. Check that out, and then I think you can probably just rotate these up. That's really nice. Yeah, so they're like, there's like a bar or something that goes right here, holds these in place, and then super easy to grab out what you want. And they're all just quarter inch bits, I guess. Is that what they're called? I think it's quarter inch bits. So yeah, we've got uh, straight flutes, straights, mortising, grooves, keyholes. See, I don't even know what all this stuff means, but uh, I'm sure excited to find out. This guy, we can see a couple of the features here. It's got some soft start, 30 inch rip capacity, integrated dust collection port, onboard storage. Um, yeah, I mean, you can read all that. And then we've also, got a, a depth of cut of 90 degrees is three and a half inches, which I'm pretty stoked on. That means I can rip the face off of a, a four by four. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we're working with. I'm sure that there's a fair amount of assembly required because the thing is mobile and on a stand like this guy was. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, so we got the base all done. It really wasn't bad at all. I mean, probably took a total of maybe a half hour would be significantly less if you knew what you were doing. But I think we put the table saw on now. So we just made our first cut with this thing. Um, I just took off a half inch off this edge here just as a test and it was dead on half an inch. Looks pretty good. So yeah, man, I'm really excited to play with this thing and, and learn more about it. But uh, yeah, for like future table builds and things, I'll be able to, you know, butt these right up next to each other, cutting boards and things like that. I'm really excited for even just that much. Also, let's check out this dust collector. So obviously it works with the rigid shop vac. That's really all that got on the ground from cutting that board. Ooh, love that. Our timeline's a little out of whack. I actually just finished reviewing the, the dining room table build video. Kyle just edited it and sent it over and uh, man, I'm stoked on it. I, hope you, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I'm having a ton of fun with this new direction with the channel. I'm getting a lot of good feedback. There's a lot of new subscribers coming in. I, I'm, I'm just as excited as I could be about this new venture. Hey, pretty successful two days in the studio. We got this place cleaned up, uh, you know, sort of well. We got the table saw all set up. I feel good about it. I feel pretty confident about it. Um, two more orders of business before we call it a day. The first is let's talk about December a little bit. Now the original plan was to release a build every single day in December, sort of a, like a gift guide, kind of a, you know, if you want to build something for under 20 bucks in a day or something as a gift for Christmas, uh, that was the idea. And I'm still trying to stick with that, but it's just not going to be realistic for me to be able to do a build every day, primarily because I wasn't planning on that table build lasting all of November. <laughs> I was gonna try and you know knock out 10 to 15 builds in November, so we had sort of a queue. We have no queue right now because that table took me so long. So uh, this is pretty real time. You saw the table build yesterday, today you're seeing this kind of behind the scenes vlog to get ready for the future builds, and that's sort of where we're at. So I'm still gonna aim for a video every day, it might not happen, but but that's still the overarching goal. And then we're just gonna try and work in as many builds as possible. I have a list of 25 builds I wanna get through. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's realistic, but I'm going to try and get a build as often as possible, three or four a week, with uh, a couple filler videos like this. Just kinda let you know what's going on, maybe cleaning up the studio, just hanging out, updates, things like that. Now the only video in December I have that is not woodworking, is a vault -Tech Life Pod review. Um, you guys know I worked with them forever, so they, they sent me out all the goodies, and uh, I love supporting those guys. They, they support me really well, so I'm stoked to be able to share that with you, but uh, otherwise, 
more woodworking all the way baby so with all that being said one last thing i did want to mention is this guy right here this is not a sponsored video these guys sent this backpack out to me asked if i wanted to you know give it a test run and what i thought of it they're not paying me i get no affiliate there's nothing like that so i mean they don't really care if i make this video so i wanted to make the video though because I've been really stoked on this thing. This has been truly my favorite backpack at all recently. And then if you know anything about me, my backpacks and jackets, ooh, I got a big collection of those. It's hard for me to turn down either of those things. Um, this is the first backpack I've had in a long time that's not like a tactical style backpack. You know, I'm, I'm a, a businessman, I guess. I go to a lot of meetings and things like that where I have to represent myself and meet potential clients and things. And this is the first backpack I feel that's kind of got a, you know, a little bit more of a respectable, professional vibe to it than, you know, your standard Drago backpack <laughs> or something. So I was really stoked that they were willing to send this thing out to me. Very, very high quality. Uh, obviously all leather, nice zippers. The interior is something I'm a big fan of. Um, I've got a bunch of O-lights in there right now, but the interior is like all lined with canvas, which I love. Like a lot of these, I mean, it's a, it's a Chinese company, like a lot of the Chinese backpacks and stuff, they look decent on the outside, but you open them up and the interior materials and qualities are just awful. This one, on the other hand, I love the fact that they took the time to finish every aspect of the backpack. So we've got one big opening up on top here with a nice little padded canvas area for something like a laptop or an iPad. I keep my iPad in there. We've got a front pouch, two side pouches, and then on the very back here is a nice little, uh, maybe like a wallet or a passport or something if you're traveling. Just, just a pouch that's a little bit more secure than the others. Straps wise, we've got a little bit of padding on them, not a ton. So that's the backpack I've been rocking for the last couple weeks, man. I've been extremely, extremely happy with it. It's not one of those that you're gonna take hiking with you. It's not one of those that's gonna be comfortable to wear all day long. It's just one of those that has a nice professional vibe, professional feel, feels very, very high quality. I've been stoked on it. Now I have seen some other versions of this like at Sam's Club and Costco and things. And the Sam's Club ones are, they're fine, don't get me wrong, but uh, they don't stand up to this thing, so. Anyways, uh, I wanted to just let you guys know about that. The company's called Supwatch, <laughs> kind of an interesting name, but I'll put that information, the link to their website down in the video description below. Check it out if it's something you're interested in. The, the bags are pricey. They do the thing where they like show the MSRP and then cross it out and show the normal, the, their price, I don't know. They say that the MSRP is like 440 bucks or something and then it's got to cross out and it's like 179 or something. So like 180 bucks for this, obviously very, very pricey, but I've said it in other videos, anytime I'm getting a, a decent backpack, I'm expecting to pay between $150 and $300. It's just what you pay for a good backpack. So like I said, extremely happy with that thing. If you're interested, hit them up. I don't get an affiliate. I don't get commission. I don't get anything. It's just, I want to let you guys know, stoked on that backpack. In any case, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Expect a video every single day. I'm going to do my best to hit that. Uh, we're going to get as many builds out as possible. Definitely a build coming tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. We'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.